Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Ruby Gill, and I feel honored to welcome you all on the behalf of lovely professional university for today's webinar for taking a key part in today's webinar, which is entitled as Campus Life at LPU Way to Holistic Development. I'm sure that you all will feel enriched with the knowledge after the completion of today's webinar. So kindly allow me to introduce the experts of today's webinar. Dr. Saurabh Lakhanpal, Professor, Senior Dean, Head, Student Welfare Wing, lovely professional university. A dynamic professional contributing for development of outside classroom learning initiatives designed for holistic development of the university students. To his credit, he is Guinea's world record holder for delivering largest drug awareness lesson in 2018. Among his many contributions to the profession, he has published papers in national and international journals of repute and has delivered many scientific presentations worldwide. In his present responsibilities, he is managing startup ecosystem, transdisciplinary student research and projects, skill development, student organizations and clubs, community services, NSS, NCC, sports, cultural and other co-curricular student activities. So sir, it's a privilege to have you on board with us today. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. God bless you, Ruby. So I humbly welcome the gorgeous girl of Punjab, Angle Water, whom we are so proud of, the winner of Miss PTC Punjabi 2022. Ms. Jasprit Kaur, student of Masters in Design, School of Fashion and Designing, lovely professional university. This Thank you so much, This heart-winning diva has to her account titles like Miss Magnitude 2021, Miss Fashionista 2019, and many more. Moreover, she has been a part of the university's AIU theater team as well. So she's the firm believer of dream it, do it, and achieve it. And she has done it successfully and shown it to the world. So thank you so much, Ms. Jaspreet, for gracing today's webinar with your beautiful presence. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. So in addition, we have our admission expert, Mr. Pankaj Ridge, Assistant Director, Head, Department of Depart Division of Admissions, lovely professional university. He holds a master's degree in management with a keen interest in area of training and development. He is having experience of more than 20 years in multiple domains, including teaching, training, and operations. He has occupied strategic positions in multiple organizations of repute. And attendees today, he'll take up, he'll give you an insight of eligibility, fee, and scholarship, which I'm sure make you save a lot of money. And in addition to that, she'll, he'll also be sharing about the infrastructure part of the university. So thank you so much, sir, for joining. So with this, we'll begin our today's webinar. So I welcome you all once again to the webinar and hope that you all will have a great interaction with our experts. So over to you, Dr. Saurabh Lakhanpal, sir, for the content of the day. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I feel very happy that I am interacting with all those aspirant students who are seeking admission at lovely professional university and willing to know that how their campus life is going to be. 
Uh, believe me, friends, believe me, students, that uh, it is very exciting phase when we pass out our 12th board exams, or in fact, we are being graduated and now looking for an op opportunity to go into an undergraduate college or a higher education, higher studies college. And uh, at that time, you are expecting that uh, what is my curriculum, how can be my academics be positioned well, how I am going to be placed. But yet, it take only 40% of your thought process. 60% of the thought processes are like how my campus life is going to be, how my friends are going to be, and how my peers are going to be, what are the opportunities that I will get at the university. My passion is in astronomy, agriculture, environment. Am I be able to pursue that or not? And moreover, even the people who are not much focused, even then they have a dream that they are going to sit most of the time in a canteen, and spend time over there and uh, all those things that are being shown in Bollywood movies. But believe me students, yes, your campus life is important. It has to be happy. But even more than that, it has also to be structured and scripted uh, campus life also to get the best out of you. I always say that you generally update your softwares, right? Either it is in mobile or in laptop. You keep on updating your wardrobe also, your cloths also then why don't you update yourself? So becoming your better version is the whole soul goal of an educationist, that you want to become a better version of yourself, either in professional or academic studies that you're going to join, or in a holistic development that you are going to get as a virtue of your campus life. So today's structure will be that I'll be speaking with you about your campus life at lovely professional university for 10 to 15 minutes. Then we have our guest student Jaspreet and I always uh, feel so proud to talk about students like Jaspreet that who have been uh, achieving so high just by structuring their campus life. We will try to talk to her about her experiences. Right Jaspreet? And uh, I, I am also feeling very proud that the moderator of this session that is uh, uh, Ruby, who is also our student and then finally she become a staff member, assistant professor with us and the events like Magnitude in which Jaspreet participated were curated by them only and uh, the person who was organizing this event is uh, introducing his participant or her participant and a public platform. I really like these moments going in my life. I feel so happy and excited for that. So we'll talk to Ruby also on this. But before that, let me talk about the campus life at Lovely Professional University. Generally, we see that all the students presently have a diversified interest and passion. A few have interest in like music, dance, theater, fine arts, literary, cartooning, debating, model United Nations. So uh, our university provides more than 20 clubs in the division of art and culture to follow your passion. And I'm happy to share that Jaspreet is the part of one of those or two of those clubs also, uh, which we call it as Division of Art and Culture. Then I must let you know that we have a culture of sports. We have supporting 65 sports on campus, put together indoor and outdoor. We have full fledged indoor stadium where we have 16 badminton courts, three volleyball courts, one basketball, six squash courts, 10 lane, 25 lane shooting range, three swimming pools, indoor only. And then we have two outdoor stadiums also from cricket to American football, from uh, volleyball to cocoa, handball to netball, golf ball, and the more modern games. We all have a coaches that are being NIS qualified for your good campus life, whosoever are sports person. And then we also give you opportunity to serve the society. We have a full-fledged community services cell. And in this community services, we serve the nation, society, we have adopted certain villages, we have adopted slums, even we are working from the campus for problems also like food wastage in the hostels. So if you are a little inclined towards social service, you will again get a good campus life at lovely professional university. We have a full fledged startup system for innovations and startups. So students who have certain ideas and then they want to develop any prototype based on that. We provide support to them and we do not let them uh, stop at prototype. We also help them to file patent, write research papers for that prototypes. And we also help them you to commercialize and start your own business based on those innovations that you have developed over time. So we have a formal incubation 
spaces for that we have a full fledged 50000 square feet area named as innovation studio where trans disciplinary interdisciplinary research are going on or campus me when you will come you will see 52 feet uh, tall robot is standing over there driverless cars is there and then we participated in events like the auto expo uh, our students are making drones air purifiers paddy sewing machines all those innovation in startup you are going to get as an exposure in campus life at lovely professional university now coming to the next exposure which i consider to be strongest by the students for the students and that is known as student organizations here generally you make a organization of your interest or you can join other organization of your interest we have 300 student organizations on campus which work in 18 disciplines from environment to astronomy from space to website designing from cloud compute computing to cyber securities more technical academic recreational hobby all type of student organizations are there then we have a chapters from other student organizations like isec it's an international student organization asme that's american society for mechanical engineering a science collegiate club and there are many other chapters associated to external organizations also so this is how you are going to get exposed to a good campus life and then we have a finally full fledged event management entertainment youtubing uh, blogging blogging all those lovely world put together uh, from events to electronic media from print media to blogs which is being available in the 13 for you as a good campus life so i always suggest to my students that when you are deciding a road map for your career that meko 70% se upar marks rakhne that is 6 cgpa 7 cgpa se upar you have to maintain your academics also plan that how many skills you are going to acquire during the duration of your degree i always say the best thing to plan is you plan monday wednesday and friday as a art and culture day where you develop your love skills soft skills writing skills and on the other day alternative day you either in, that is on tuesday thursday and saturday either you choose sports or you choose social service and work accordingly then swap this opportunities or you may take up new opportunities from next semester like you now you get into student organizations who go into youtubing and blogging in the other semesters so this is how a good career map for holistic development can be done at lovely professional university but i am the person who generally plans for you lekin how students actually grab this opportunity how to actually they practically apply i would like to ask jaspreet at this point ki jaspreet you are so bright student we are so proud of you we are so happy and i must tell to the listeners that this is jaspreet's first present presence on any offline or online mode at lovely professional university after becoming PTC Miss Punjaban. It's a recent achievement in April and only uh, only one and a one half month that she has been crowned, and lots of uh, uh, opportunities coming her way after being crowned as PTC Miss Punjaban. So just please, just tell me very focused that how you thought about your campus life first, how you planned it, and actually how it get executed. All right, sir. Thank you so much for introducing me. Firstly, I would like to tell you that. Uh, Lovely Professor University is not only university; it's a brand itself. It is a unique in its field, and discipline, talent is like in the air of the environment of Lovely Professor University. And I'm so grateful to be part of this university. There are so many opportunities to develop one's personality, uh, like you said, that cultural, sports, and. Uh, literature and many more and it was very precious and golden phase of my life to uh, join this university and uh, the entire faculty and other uh, members of this uh, university are very cooperative i got a lot of uh, love and support from my teacher colleagues and it made my two years so i'm really happy that i'm here after winning that title and um, सबसे बड़ी चीज जो लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी की जो मुझे लगती है वो है कि जो भी स्टूडेंट एलपीयू में आता है ना आफ्टर एलपीयू जब वो पास आउट होता है आई एम नॉट आई एम श्योरली आई एम श्योर कि कोई भी ऐसा स्टूडेंट भी होगा जो विदाउट कॉन्फिडेंस के बाहर आएगा फुली कॉन्फिडेंट होके बाहर आता है एंड जब मैंने ज्वाइन किया था मैंने एक चीज अपने दिमाग में रख के ज्वाइन किया था कि 
मुझे कल्चरल uh, एक्टिविटीज में बहुत ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट था तो मैं चाहती थी कि मैं लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी को जैसे uh, बाकी बच्चे रिप्रेजेंट करते थे मैं भी प्राउडली रिप्रेजेंट करूं तो मैं सब मेरा सबसे बड़ा मोटिव इस यूनिवर्सिटी में आने का सिर्फ यही था कि मुझे अपनी यूनिवर्सिटी को रिप्रेजेंट करना है अपने नाम के साथ एंड दैट्स व्हाट आई डिड इन दैट पेजेंट एंड आई होप दैट आई मेड फील प्राउड टू द यूनिवर्सिटी एंड इट्स यस सर सो कैंपस लाइफ के बारे में अगर मैं बात करूं तो मेरी कैंपस लाइफ बहुत कम रही है बिकॉज ऑफ द पैंडमिक एंड जितनी भी रही है मैंने uh, बहुत ज्यादा एक्सप्लोर किया है मैंने अपने सीनियर्स के साथ uh, uh, बहुत सारे सेशंस करे हैं जिन जिनमें मैंने अपनी uh, जो मेरा पैशन है थिएटर के लिए वो मैंने अचीव uh, करा है वहां पे रह गए मैं ए के बारे में नहीं जानती थी बिल्कुल भी बट आफ्टर कमिंग टू लवली एंड दे टोल्ड मी अबाउट वट इज ए एंड मैंने कभी नहीं सोचा था अपनी जिंदगी में कि कभी मैं नेशनल लेवल पे आके कुछ परफॉर्म कर करूंगी भी मुझे इतना कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं था मैं बहुत इंट्रोवर्ट लड़की थी एंड पिछले दो साल से मैंने जितना लवली से गेन किया है आई थिंक अब जो मैं यहाँ पे बैठी हुई फुली प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स के साथ वो लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी से मुझे आई है मैं फुली कॉन्फिडेंट होके बोल सकती हूँ कि मैं एक स्टूडेंट रही हूँ यहाँ की और मैं और भी अच्छे अच्छे ऐसे काम करूंगी जिसमें मैं लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी का नाम हमेशा लेती रहूंगी क्योंकि लिटरली मुझे बहुत दिया इस यूनिवर्सिटी ने स्पेशली यू सर यू ऑलवेज मोटिवेटेड मी मैं शो में थी मैं हमेशा आपको मैसेज करती थी सर मैं इस आ, ये राउंड पास कर चुकी हूँ सर मैंने सेमी फिनाले कर लिया है सर मैं फिनाले में पहुंच गई हूँ एंड यू ऑलवेज सपोर्टेड मी यू ऑलवेज देर फॉर मी एंड आपने जब जब मैं जा रही थी यूनिवर्सिटी से तब आपने बोला था कि जस्ट यू विल बी ऑन द टॉप टेन एंड जब मैं टॉप टेन में पहुंची सबसे बड़ा थैंक यू मेरे मुंह से आपके लिए निकला and I was really happy and still I'm happy कि मतलब मैं आपके सामने बैठी हूँ मुझे ये मौका मिला आपके सामने बैठने का कि ये बताने का कि मैं actually क्या feel कर रही हूँ and thank you so much sir okay thank you जस्ट भी तो चलो ऐसी बात तो हम करते रहेंगे आपस में students must not feel के तो मतलब आपस में प्रेस करने का session रख लिया but only student student like just free is only one of those campus life वाले students हैं इनके साथ हम इंटरेक्ट करने का मौका मिलता है वी कैन प्रेजेंट हियर हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स जिनको जसप्रीत देख के खुद भी मोटिवेट हुई व्हेन शी वाज टेलिंग अबाउट एआई एआई इज एक्चुअली एसोसिएशन ऑफ ऑल इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज दे कंपीट इन वेरियस प्लेटफॉर्म्स ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स एंड कल्चर एंड आई एम प्राउड टू शेयर विद यू फ्रॉम लास्ट 6 7 इयर्स वी आर विनिंग ओवरऑल ट्रॉफीज ऑल ओवर इंडिया पुट टुगेदर इन इंटर यूनिवर्सिटी कॉम्पिटिशंस और स्पोर्ट्स में तो वी हैव पुट अ सच अ इंडियन मार्क दैट वी आर कंट्री नंबर 2 एंड वी गॉट अ ट्रॉफी फ्रॉम अमित शाह जी ओनली वन मंथ एज फर्स्ट रनर अप पोजीशन इन खेलो इंडिया यूनिवर्सिटी गेम्स एंड सिमिलरली इन कल्चरल अफेयर्स इन लास्ट सीजन इंडिया का जो सबसे बड़ा यूथ फेस्टिवल है टू मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स इज एक्चुअली इंटरस्टेट पंजाब वर्सेस हरियाणा दिस इज दैट तो आउट ऑफ दोस पंजाब 26 एक्टिविटीज 11 were from lovely professional university and 10 bagged the prizes and no other state in the country won the 10 prizes only lovely professional university 10 prizes only for punjab so this is how my students are being positioned uh, like jaspreet ki jaise uh, i am talking about her similarly we have a student who is presently went to nasa she is the one of the youngest astronaut janvi her name is janvi you can see her story on university's official facebook page also and similarly there is a student who uh, get to develop a hybrid car from a tata nano with a brand new design and looking so elegant and then there is a group of student who are presently making a movie also and then there are students like neeraj chopra matlab who brought laurels to the india in the form of a gold medal in athletics ever ever in india so you have a peers like that when you are going to have a campus life uh, but jaspreet I'll keep I'll keep on talking to these students. I'll try to give few tips also because at the end of the day, my summary to you is that I just want to tell you to have a beautiful campus life with only one objective that you will become a better version of yourself. इस तरह से आप अपना software mobile upload करते रहते हैं तो जैसे अभी जसप्रीत ने भी बोला she was very introvert two years back तो अब उसका software update हो गया ना अब now she is more confident more extrovert. So, आपके भी ऑब्जेक्टिव कैंपस लाइफ का यही होगा यू हैव टू बिकम अ 
मोर बेटर वर्जन ऑफ योर सेल्फ बट उसका रास्ता क्या होगा वो बनाना मेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है विच आई एम टेलिंग यू गो इट थ्रू दी क्लब्स गो इट थ्रू दी स्पोर्ट्स गो इट थ्रू दी कम्युनिटी सर्विसेज गो इट थ्रू दी लाइफ स्टाइल इवेंट्स फैशन पेजेंट्स एंड मेनी मोर थिंग्स बट इन सारों को फॉलो करते हुए थोड़ा सॉफ्ट एंगल भी आपसे शेयर करता हूँ I always feel that the students nowadays must have, must have seven attributes in them. जिनमें सबसे पहला ये है कि don't compare yourself to others, right? You have a talent in you of yours. अगर आज की डेट में जसप्रीत ये देख के इम्प्रेस हो गई होती कि मैंने भी जानवी की तरह नाशा जाना है और PTC का या मेरा theatre group नहीं join करती, तो most probably वो वहाँ पे commoner रह जाती. लेकिन she identified her talent and potential that she is more good in lifestyle events, in theatre events. and then she didn't compare her self with any other so see her excelling that she has got a top title for a pageant so you also don't compare yourself uh, every person have should their own past own future own present but do identify your strengths second thing i always say stay calm heaven is not going to fall stay calm you may achieve a thing maybe 15 days one month six month later but bhagya se pehle aur samay se adhik to na kisi ko mila hai na milega so i always say stay calm right so when i say stay calm ka matlab ye nahi hai wo jo aajkal wo cool dude wala ki kya kar rahe kya nahi kar rahe wo pata nahi ha aapko aapka goal pata hai lekin uska milestone achieve karne ke liye aap calmly patiently kaam kar rahe hain so the attribute bhi zarur apne campus life mein holistic development mein aapke better version mein likha aata hai na ki this fixes this bug this fixes this bug jab aap software update karte ho to wo main aapke bug bhi fix karne ki कुछ कुछ रीजंस बता रहा हूं कि यू आर बीइंग नाउ मोर कॉन्फिडेंट मोर एंड थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज आई ऑलवेज से कीप स्माइलिंग राइट इट कॉस्ट डजन बट इट गिव्स यू अ लॉट सो इवन आई से फेक इट टिल यू मेक इट राइट सो जसप्रीत ये तीन एट्रीब्यूट्स मैंने बताए लेकिन मैं इन्हीं एट्रीब्यूट्स को उठा यू वर कंटेस्टिंग फॉर द टाइटल ऑफ मिस पीटीसी पंजाबन तो व्हाट टाइप ऑफ एट्रीब्यूट्स दैट हेल्प यू टू विन दिस टाइटल आप किस अपनी पर्सनालिटी ट्रेट को ये क्रेडिट uh, देते हो किसी और को नहीं देना कि uh, माता पिता का थैंक यू लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी का थैंक यू आई जस्ट वांट टू गेट योर एट्रीब्यूट्स टू बी डिलीवर्ड टू दी जूनियर्स हु आर अटेंडिंग दिस वेबिनार कि वो आपकी कौन सी पर्सनालिटी स्ट्रेंथ थी जिसको आप खुद एनालाइज करके क्रेडिट uh, देते हो कि मुझे इसने बहुत हेल्प किया टाइटल Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, the very first thing I would say is confidence. जो सबसे बड़ी चीज़ थी. Confidence के साथ आपकी presentation skills. दूसरी चीज़. And तीसरी चीज़ कि अपने आप को आप किस बेहतर तरीके से कैसे आगे लेके आ सकते हैं वो चीज एंड इन तीन चीजों ने मुझे ये टाइटल विन करने में बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करी है क्योंकि अगर मैं बात करूँ तो टैलेंट की मेरे में टैलेंट था लेकिन कुछ ऐसी चीजें होती हैं जब आप जो जहां पे आप चुक जाते हो वो होती है आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल सबसे बड़ी चीज जहां पे आप अपने आप को अच्छे से प्रेजेंट नहीं कर पाओगे जो आप फील कर रहे हो जो आप करना चाहते हो और अपने इमोशंस को प्रेजेंट करना चाहते हो तो वो आप नहीं कर पाओगे तो ऑब्वियसली नहीं समझ आएगा सामने वाले को तो फिर ये ये सबसे बड़ी चीज थी जो मेरे को बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करी है जिसने इस टाइटल को विन करने के लिए और मुझे ऑडिशन में आ, सबसे बड़ी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ये मिला था कि मेरा कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल जो है बहुत बहुत अच्छा था तो मैं नर्वस थी अपने आप में कि मैं जा रही हूँ उस टाइटल के लिए लेकिन द वे आई प्रेजेंटेड माई सेल्फ आई वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट आई कॉन्फिडेंटली प्रेजेंटेड माई सेल्फ दैट्स वाई उन उनको वो कॉन्फिडेंस जो है वो मिला हम जब ट्रांसफर करते हैं एक दूसरे को कॉन्फिडेंस और अपनी स्किल्स uh, को तो वो मतलब होती है फील सामने वाले को तो ये चीज सबसे बड़ी चीज है जो मुझे यहाँ तक पहुंचाई है तो यस सर तो जसप्रीत थैंक यू फॉर टेकिंग आउट टू इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट कि हमारे प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स बहुत important thing and remember this presentation skill does not mean ppt and good explanation of your project it is how you carry yourself it's your gestures also your smile also your choice of words also so after confidence of presentation skills kya hai wo when you come to a for a campus life choose a beautiful outside classroom learning activity and then build those skills just be abhi i am uh, telling them two three more uh, points that they should inculcate in your life in their life बट मीन वाइल आप अपना क्राउन तैयार करो मैं भी देखना चाहता हूँ इनको भी दिखाना चाहता हूँ आपको तीन मैसेज अभी तक दिए कि डोंट कम्पेयर योर सेल्फ 
uh, stay calm, smile. The two thing, more things I would like to share in this session is uh, try to let go the things. Generally, what happened? We keep or stick to our past. कि मैं ये करना चाहता था ये नहीं हुआ या अगर ऐसा होता तो वैसा हो जाता. So don't stick to your past. Let thing goes. And this applies not only for time but also to your circumstances and the people you are associated with. Because you are only responsible for your happiness. And I call it as a fifth tip, which we call is that it's on you. So your happiness depends only on you. So if you really want to be happy. बिकॉज अगर ये सारी चीजें आप काम नहीं रहोगे हैप्पी नहीं रहोगे लेट गो नहीं करोगे स्माइल नहीं करोगे कंपेयर नहीं करोगे तो मेरा पर्पस अचीव नहीं होगा जो मैं अपने यूथ से चाहता हूं कि वो फोकस्ड रहे और स्टिल अपनी कैंपस लाइफ को एंजॉय करे मोर फोकस यू आर मोर बेटर वर्जन ऑफ योर यू विल बी एंड फाइंड देश टू गो ओवर देयर राइट सो दिस इज दिफ्थ टिप आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इट टू यू एंड दिक्स टिप आई ऑलवेज वुड लाइक टू गिव यू गिव टाइम गिव टाइम हम ये तो सोच लेते हैं कि मुझे रॉल्स रॉयस खरीदनी है पर उसके लिए टाइम नहीं देते हम ये तो सोच लेते हैं कि हमने आ, इंडिया का बेस्ट इंजीनियर बनना है या बेस्ट कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियर बनना है या उसमें भी बेस्ट एथिकल हैकिंग एक्सपर्ट बनना है या बेस्ट साइबर सिक्योरिटी एक्सपर्ट बनना है पर हम उसके लिए उतना टाइम नहीं देते तो सिक्स थिंग आई वुड ऑलवेज लाइक टू शेयर दैट डू गिव टू दी टाइम whatever your goals are and they can be completely academic and professional and less outside classroom learning campus life no worries but give time whatever is the focus of your life right and uh, with this six tip seven tip last mein bataunga but i would like to see jaspreet again jaspreet so uh, jaise main keh raha hu ki give time to aapne kitna samay diya preparation ke liye uh, kya ये कंपटीशन ऐसा था कि बस आप एक्सटेंड पर गए और आपने जाके वहां परफॉर्म कर दिया और जीत गए कि आपने प्रैक्टिस को टाइम दिया था कुछ चीजों को लेट गो किया था या आपने किस तरह से अपनी हैप्पीनेस को कंटिन्यू किया था पहले तो लॉट ऑफ क्लैपिंग फॉर पीटीसी मिस पंजाबन बिकॉज शी इज नॉट लुकिंग नॉट ओनली एल पी स्टूडेंट शी इज ऑल्सो लुकिंग डिवा ऑल्सो ब्लेसिंग थैंक यू सो मच सर So I, I I was just Thank sharing you. with students who are in this webinar that is important to practice and give time for the things that you focus upon. So tell me that how you give time to your studies, to your practice, how you are managing your time, and were you really practicing to win this title, or ये ऐसे destiny के तौर पे आ गया? जी सर बिल्कुल मैं एक चीज share करना चाहूँगी यहाँ पे मेरी job, मेरी studies and मेरा कंपटीशन एक साथ चल रहा था एंड टाइम मैनेजमेंट को सेट करना अकॉर्डिंग टू द शूटिंग टाइम एंड जॉब का टाइम सब कुछ सेट करना थोड़ा सा मुश्किल हुआ स्टार्टिंग में लेकिन मैंने एक टाइम सेट किया कि दैट रात को मैं फोर आवर्स अपने जॉब को दूंगी और सुबह आठ बजे से लेके Uh, रात के आठ बजे तक हम प्रैक्टिस करते थे वहां पे और सबसे बड़ी चीज मुझे लगता था कि कंपटीशन में थोड़ा सा अंडर एस्टिमेट करा था कि नहीं कर लेंगे कर लेंगे इट्स ओके okay, हमारा पंजाबी कल्चर uh, के बारे में कर लेंगे लेकिन नहीं ये बहुत ज्यादा मुश्किल रहा है मेरे लिए और सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज ये रहा है कि मैं डांस अच्छा नहीं करती थी बिल्कुल भी मैंने डांस सीखा है वहां पे एंड मेरी प्रैक्टिस सबसे ज्यादा लगती थी उन उन सब लड़कियों में से क्योंकि वो सब लड़कियां बहुत अच्छी डांसर्स थी पर मुझे सबसे ज्यादा टाइम लगा था डांसिंग सीखने में एंड स्टार्टिंग में जब हम चंडीगढ़ में गए जो पहला दिन था मेरा उस दिन हम लोग डायरेक्टली वहां पे शूटिंग पे गए एंड उन्होंने बोला कि आपकी कल शूटिंग है आपको एक दिन मिलेगा प्रिपेयर करने के लिए फॉर डांस एंड एवरीथिंग मैं मैं घबरा गई थी मैंने कहा मैं एक दिन में कैसे करूंगी ये सब मैरिज तो उस टाइम पे मैंने अपने आप को रेडी किया मैंने गाइडेंस ली काफी ज्यादा अपने टीचर से हमारे एक टीचर है वहां पे बहुत अच्छे निहारिका मैम उन्होंने मेरे को बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करा था डांसिंग में एंड एवरीथिंग एंड लवली के कुछ टीचर्स ने भी मेरी बहुत हेल्प करी थी डांसिंग में मैं सर से पूछती रहती थी कि सर इसका कैसे करें ये स्टेप कैसे करें तो वो चीज भी मेरे को बहुत ज्यादा हेल्पफुल रही मेहनत लगती रही क्योंकि पैशनेट थी मैं उस चीज के लिए मेरा एक ऑब्जेक्टिव था मेरा एक गोल था कि मुझे ये जीतना है बिकॉज मेरे लिए सबसे बड़ी चीज थी कि लोग मुझ पर विश्वास करते हैं मुझे भी खुद पे करना चाहिए तो मैंने 
अपने आप को हैंडल करा मैंने सेटअप करा टाइम मैनेजमेंट करी पैशनेट रहने दिया अपने आप को कॉन्फिडेंस लूज नहीं हो, होने दिया एंड पूरा उसको कंटिन्यू रखते रखते मैंने ये टाइटल को विन किया तो ये सारी चीजें जो स्टार्टिंग से एंड तक लेके बिकॉज सबसे बड़ा मेन चीज ये रहती कि सबको लगता है कि शो में डांसिंग इंपॉर्टेंट है आपका टैलेंट ही ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है आई थिंक जब मैं पीटीसी में गई थी तो, तो उन्होंने मेरे को एक बात बोली थी कि आपका टैलेंट अलग चीज है वो एंटरटेनमेंट के लिए है लेकिन आप अपने थॉट्स को कैसे रख रहे हो आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स कैसी है वो वो ज्यादा मैटर करती है अगर आप बोल ही नहीं पाओगे अपनी बात को समझा नहीं पाओगे तो आपका ये टाइटल किसी काम का नहीं है सो so, आपको इस चीज पे विन करना है कि आपकी कैसे प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स हैं तो मैं अगर अब बात करूं कि मैं ये जीतते कैसे हूं मैं एक चीज जो है सबसे ज्यादा जिसने हेल्प करा है मेरे को और वही चीज है जो जजेस के थ्रू मेरे को कॉम्प्लीमेंट मिले थे कि आपकी प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स अच्छी हैं आप बात को समझा पाती हैं इसलिए हम चाहते हैं कि आप ये विन करें तो मैंने उस पर बहुत वर्क करा था कि अपने आप को मतलब सेट रखना है बिल्कुल अपनी बातों को समझाना है सो यस सर ये चीजें हैं जिसने मेरे को बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करी है थैंक यू और आपकी बातें आपकी थॉट प्रोसेसेस भी चेंज हो गई हैं एंड आई एम लाइकिंग दैट आल्सो थैंक यू सो मच सर सो लास्ट टिप इज सेवंथ टिप आई वांट टू गिव यू विद दिस वेबिनार फॉर अ गुड होलिस्टिक लाइफ एंड अ कैंपस लाइफ इज दैट यू मस्ट आल्सो नो हाउ टू इग्नोर सर्टेन थिंग्स आल्सो राइट जनरली ऐसा होता है कि इनिशियली व्हेन वी टेक स्टेप आउट ऑफ आवर कंफर्ट जोन और वी डू दोस थिंग्स दैट आर बीइंग लॉट नॉट लाइक बाय मासेस So they criticize you, and even you criticize yourself also. So try how to ignore them, because initially, as I hota hai, ki people start criticizing you, then following your passions and dream, then you, then they start following you also. So वो जो journey है criticizing to others following you is also associated with a personality trait, which I say always says that you also must know that what things are to be ignored. The right things have to be kept with you, and the bad things are to be ignored. So, just be my last question. As I want to say, that if your since juniors aspire to get LPM admission, then so you must tell them that these are the things that you have to ignore as a student or campus life as a youngster, which you should ignore in today's date. Of course, I believe that the mobile time is the best time to get into the mobile. चाहे चलो आपके साथ मैं भी अपने मोबाइल से एसोसिएटेड हूँ और मैं एक घंटा सभी स्टूडेंट्स के साथ मोबाइल पे बात करता रहता हूँ स्टिल एनी थिंग यू वुड लाइक टू गिव दैम एज ए टिक दैट ऑल्सो ट्राई टू इग्नोर दीज टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू एक्सेल इन यू यस सर बिल्कुल सर सबसे पहली चीज जैसे आपने बोला कि आपने रास्ता दिखाना है आप जस्ट आइए यहाँ पे सेम चीज मैं बोलना चाहूंगी You should give yourself to LPU. LPU will make the best version of yourself. So, my best version, you can see. I think, whatever you have talent, every one respects LPU. And I think, छोटी सी छोटी चीज को जो इग्नोरेंस मिलती है, वो LPU में उसके लिए special competitions रखे जाते हैं. तो I would say कि आप हर एक competition में participate करना, because मुझे नहीं लगता कि कोई भी ऐसा मंथ या वीकडेज होंगे जिसमें कंपटीशन नहीं रहते हर एक वीक में कोई कंपटीशन होता है हर एक मंथ में तीन चार कंपटीशंस तो होती है कंपटीशंस आपकी पर्सनालिटी को डेवलप करता है जिसमें आपको आगे जाके भी हेल्प होगी आपकी कोई भी कोई भी पैशन है कोई भी आप अपनी जिंदगी में कुछ बड़ा भी करना चाहते हो आपको एक कॉम्पिटिशन सेट करना होता है अपना एक गोल सेट करना होता है वो सबसे बड़ी चीज अपना एक पर्टिकुलर गोल लेके चले और वो गोल को शेयर करें कि बिकॉज विदाउट गाइडेंस विदाउट असिस्टेंस आप उस मुकाम तक पहुंच तो जाएंगे लेकिन शायद कहीं ना कहीं चूक जाएंगे तो आई वुड से कि वो गाइडेंस लेने में कभी मत शर्माना हमेशा गाइडेंस लेते रहना जरूरी है ये चीज और ये सबसे बड़ी चीज है कि आपको किस तरह से खुल के बोलना है अपने टीचर्स के आगे और टीचर्स बहुत कॉपरेटिव है सभी वहां पे सीनियर्स भी बहुत कॉपरेटिव हैं सब हेल्प करते हैं एक दूसरे की इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स भी मैंने देखे वहां पे और वो उनसे भी मैंने ये बहुत बार सुना है कि हमारे टीचर्स जो है ना वो बहुत ज्यादा कॉपरेटिव हैं और मैंने ये खुद फील किया था बिफोर एलपीयू मैंने काफी ज्यादा हासिल किया था ढूंढने में कि मेरे लिए बेस्ट एलपीयू है या नहीं है लेकिन हर किसी से मुझे ये सुनने को मिला था कि एलपीयू में एक चीज जो बेस्ट मिलती है वो है आपका कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल वो गेन करके ही रहते हैं तो आप मैं आपको इस बात की श्योरिटी दे सकती हूँ कि आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग योर ग्रेजुएशन और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन वट यू वांट टू डू आप एक अच्छी पर्सनालिटी के साथ बाहर निकलेंगे
just give yourself to LP. LP will make best version of yourself. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you, Jasprit. So, I Jasprit ki baat ko second karna. Is I was asking her ke what to ignore. So she said ki apni jo non-expressiveness hai, apni introvertness hai, apka lack of confidence hai, usko ignore karein. Or yahan pe faculties ki hai, iske saath mentors ke saath bahar nikle. So dear students, this was all from my side. I was just want to tell you that when you come to the university, you have a campus life related to art and culture, from where the Jasprit is, sports, community services, innovation, startup student organizations, YouTubing, blogging, and even management more than that also. So sorry students, because I know you are a mix of students sounding more towards art and culture, because my favorite student, Jaspreet, one of the favorite, who was art and culture side, se thi, lifestyle, se thi. Lekin, jo yahan pe computer science, electronic background, engineering background, se hai, we have a lot of success stories like Jaspreet, who are being working in their field, excelling in their field, and they are really favorite to us also. Uswe chahe cloud computing hai, chahe IT background hai, chahe startups hai, travel businesses hai, or hot sari technical projects hai that students are doing with us. So come to the campus, choose the best campus life inside classroom as well as outside classroom for your holistic development. And surely you are going to be a good human being, which I say is a better version of yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your vision and thank you so much, Jaspreet, for sharing your experience with our attendees. And attendees, I must tell you that education is the foundation and learning leads to creativity. And Dr. Saurav Lakhanpal, sir, is here to explore your embedded talent in you. So thank you so much, sir. So, so now we have uh, some queries from our attendees. So with your permission, can we take up those queries? Sure, sure. Most welcome. So, so there is a student uh, attendee named Megha. She wants to know that what kind of recreational and leisure facilities are available in LPU campus. What's the name of the student? Megha. Megha. So Megha, in terms of recreational facilities, first we have almost 16 clubs on the campus related to cultural affairs. For example, we have club for instruments. We have club for jamming session who are interested more in bands, rock bands, jazz bands. Then we have a cultural club that is being related to Indian classical, carnatic, regional, as well as light vocal singing also. So we have a lot of clubs related to dancing, either it is Western dancing, classical dancing, then it's a regional dancing. And moreover, it's a light, what you can say, uh, Punjabi folk dance singing also. We call it Bhangra, Gidda, Chumar, Lundi. So we have a dance club like that also. Then uh, for more leisure and recreational activities, we have an adventure property on campus uh, where there are 20 activities like rock climbing, Burma bridge, crocodile pit. And then these activities are also more like experiential learning activities. So you can expose to that also. Other than this, uh, in recreational areas, we have small open air theaters. We have five, six OADs on campus. So generally students like you gather over there and then they have their street plays, their news critics, and many events like that in these small open air theaters. Other than this uh, recreational activity, I always say we have a 10 story mall where we have an indoor gym, sauna, spa, cafe, coffee day, dominoes, banks, ATMs, ATMs, and then uh, Apple shops, Archie's gallery. So it's a 10 story. 10 story mall. I think so. We are the rarest of the university in India having a full fledged 10 story mall on campus. So, other than this, sports and recreational activities, skating ring is there, bowling yale is there, pool tables are also there. So, there are a lot of things that are being available on campus in recreational and learning hobby based activities. And moreover, we are willing if we have an activity by yourself which is not existing on campus as a dean student welfare. We are committed to build that on campus also. Thank you so much, sir. So, so there is there are two other questions, uh, similar kind of questions, and so I'll accumulate in one. The questions are from Sarita and Neha Kumari. They want to know that they are from Hindi background, Hindi medium. So, and but they came to know that in LPU classes, communication medium is English. So, how they will cope up with that? So, आपने ये question पूछा, इसका मतलब आपको मेरी बात समझ आई। So, 80% I was communicating in English and 20% I was talking. 
it's an teachers and lovely professor in university who makes you understand whatever language you are from but yes english is a corporate language you get to tend to understand books in a better fashion because most of the books are in english you are able to get better placements you are going to present your projects well your confidence is going to high if you learn english so we start english classes also for you so it's not only the academics if you are into engineering or management commerce science pharmacy that we are only teaching you technical subjects we are also teaching you the subjects related to english language communication skills soft skills still if you are not able to learn from them in evening we have a literary club in block number 13 you come over there there is a full plate dedicated to faculty members over there who make you learn step by step your communication skills thank you so much sir communication skills ko build karne ke liye hamare paas sham ko clubs bhi hain aur wo free of cost hain completely agree sir thank you so much sir so we'll take up another question so there is a tendi named prakash he wants to know that he sings well and if tomorrow he joins the university how will his talent be nurtured so we have total seven music instructors available with us in outside classroom hours ya we call it as after hours so i have a, a musician who plays drum i have a guitarist i have a tabla player i have a harmonium player these are four are the instrumental accompanists then i have three singers one from western singing one from indian singing and one from live vocal so it's a team of total seven music instructors and these music classes are free of cost after your class hours that is 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock you can come to our club you will be given a time table you start practicing over there and not only this if you are performing well in first 2 3 4 6 months you are going to give us get a stage also either for competition or showcasing your talent also and i must tell you when you are going to come to campus there will be certain fresher students who are already identified through these webinars and all that they will also straight away performing on their day one of joining the college also we call it as freshman induction and then you don't you don't have that much courage to showcase uh, we also start a freshman uh, got talent competition also you can participate in this also so lot of platform regular learning clubs showcasing and competitions will be available for you thank you so much sir so we'll take up another question that is from akula gangadhar he wants to know that can he witness concerts in the lpu lpu at lpu so this is a small wish think big you will not be able to only see the concert you will be given opportunity to manage them also when i call amit trivedi on campus daljeet dosanjh on campus patsha on campus all events are organized by students backstage front stage discipline artist management artist hospitality they ask the rupees sitting over here how many celebrities she has entered she was master of ceremony when she was student for lot of events so she was earlier attending our events by standing in the audience as you wish to but think big and think like ruby that you are entering those events also asking questions to celebrities do we please tell them how many celebrities you have answered or you have done a moderation with celebrities koi ek do naam batao acche yes sir i have done the master of being the master of ceremony for so many events the celebrity events like there were ankit tiwari was there oh, and uh, uh, duljeet dosanjh gurdas man right. uh, jimmy shergill uh, yes. he was also here and uh, so i have shared platform with so many celebrities even i don't remember the names also yeah, so yeah so to think, to think the question is rightly answered that you are not only going to attend these concerts you are also going to be the part of management team if you are really willing to do so definitely yes, so thank you so much sir so we'll take up last but not the least question from divendu samantha he wants to know that do lpu help in personality development and presentation skills and another question from the same tendi is that can we visit rooms of my other friends in hostel and can we do small parties at hostel so the first answer is university has a full fledged center for professional enhancement we call it as cpe and it has a three segments one is soft skill communication skills other is analytical logical ability and third is aptitude so it is completely dedicated as a 12 hours credit in your regular teaching for your personality development presentation skills the first part is most likely answered the second is yes in hostels or our all hostels are manned by turnstile gates so if it is your hostel block 
so all your block colleagues can visit each other's room but across the hostels without permission you cannot visit regularly and frequently and when it comes to the parties yes we have certain protocols to organize this party parties your senior students in the name of student organizations they regularly organize pressure parties day celebrations but if somebody uh, wants to do even bigger and better than then we provide university level stage and facilities also to organize these parties but yes of course uh, uh, parties that are out of protocol and uh, which are being not as per qualities and standards made by university we generally deny them also thank you so much sir for resolving all the queries of our attendees and now we'll quickly move to our admission expert mr pankaj vid so sir over to you for the admission part of the university very well i guess my screen is visible and i'm audible great so it's it, it was great interaction uh, listening to dr saurav lakhanpal and uh, our alumni it's always a great feeling to have our alumni doing good in their life and uh, it gives a feeling of elation to us that our creation have done so wonderfully well in their life so it gives us motivation to do more to more to more about the students Uh, not only in field of academics research which a university is known for but for other things as well such as nurturing talents maybe in the field of uh, cultural activities sporting activities co curricular extra curricular social service so if our students excel in that field as well it's a great feeling it's a great feeling of elation that we get and that's what has been proved today by one of our alumni who's done extremely well in her life Uh, moving on students so this is what you can expect when you come to the campus you have been told elaborately about the campus life about the uh, the uh, talents which have been explored over here and nurtured over here so this is what you can expect when you come to the campus uh, my job over here would be to tell you a little bit about the the admission aspect of uh, the various programs we are running a lot of programs we are running more than 150 programs out here at lpu and uh, if you want to if you're interested in a specific program how to know about its eligibility criteria how to know about its fee structures and so on so forth i'm the person who will be telling you all so students all you need to do first of all you need to log on to lpu.in that's our official website and then if you want to know about any program you go to a link called admissions in admissions you'll get a few drop downs if anybody is interested in undergraduate programs that's after 12th programs you'll select any any one of these programs after graduation any one of these programs after 10th that is diploma programs over here and then after diploma that is later entry programs you'll search a program over here so let us take an instance that uh, i want to search a program which is related to maybe engineering okay so after 12 i go to the regular program and in regular program i go to the various disciplines that are being offered and the various disciplines include engineering management pharmaceutical science computer application whole lot of them ample lot of them so all these programs are offering bachelor's degrees in them we want to search a bachelor's degree program say for example in engineering so i go to engineering in engineering we got these 15 branches of engineering that we are offering uh, let's say if i want to search something about the uh, btech say for instance mechanical engineering let's go to mechanical say if i want to know something about mechanical engineering i click over here and this is these are the programs that we are offering uh, btech mechanical a uh, normal btech mechanical degree program then we have got a btech mechanical collaborative program that is entire with an industry that's a industry collaborated program and then we have got a btech mechanical 2 plus 2 international credit in transfer which means that a student taking admission in this program will spend first two years of his degree at lpu and thereafter after complying with the few conditions we will send him abroad and he will complete his degree abroad and he will get a foreign degree so let's take an instance that we 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 want to search details of btech mechanical so i just click it over here and i'm taken to the next page wherein i get all the details 
first and foremost what is the eligibility of taking admission in the btech mechanical program the eligibility is passed with 60% marks in aggregate in 12 with physics maths chemistry and english these are the important subjects that a student should have studied or equivalent subject to qualifying lpns now this is a prerequisite that's our entrance exam which is called as lovely professional university national entrance and scholarship test so the prerequisite is a student should have 60 percent marks in 12th standard and should have prepared for our LPNS exam. Once you qualify this particular exam, uh, you are in for a, uh, eligibility. Your, your eligibility is made and you can, make, you can take admission in BTEC Mechanical. If you score really well, then you get scholarship on the basis of this as well. So that's the eligibility criteria. This is how you can find the eligibility of any program. Now, talking about the fee, that's the most important part, the second most important part. So I just go to the top of the screen. There's a, there's, a, there's a button over here which says fee. I just click it over here and it takes me to the fee structure. So the fee structure of BTEC mechanical program is 1,20,000 per semester, but that's the base fee without scholarship. There are ample lot of scholarships. There are loads and loads of scholarships that we are offering. For example, somebody has appeared for the JWE mains exam. So if somebody is appeared for the JWE mains exam and the percentile ranges between 85 to 90, or a student has 80 to 89.99 marks in the 12th standard, or a student is amongst the category three of our LPNST exam. It's one and the same thing. The student is in for a 28% scholarship and the fee goes down to 86,400 per semester. Secondly, if somebody has a J main score 90 to 95 or a 10 plus two score of 90 to 94.99 or is amongst the category two of our LPNST exam, the scholarship for such a student is 38 percent and the fee goes down to 74,400. Similarly, if somebody has a JW percentile greater than or equal to 95 or somebody has 12 score of greater than or equal to 95 percent or somebody is in category one of our LPNST exam, there's a 48 percent scholarship and the fee goes down to 62,400 per semester. My dear students, it's worth mentioning over here that these scholarships, which I've just told you, once administered to a student, shall remain the same way throughout the course of the program. These scholarships will never diminish. They will never weather away. They will be intact. Moving on to some other scholarships that we are offering. These are some of the other scholarships that we are offering. We've seen scholarships on the basis of uh, qualifying marks. That's on the basis of 10 plus 2, on the basis of LPNS. Then scholarships on the basis of JW mains. There are certain other scholarships that we are offering, like scholarships on the basis of startups, innovations, and entrepreneurship. Somebody's done really well in the field of entrepreneurship or some innovations. We've got scholarships for such students as well. Somebody's a board topper. Uh, if a student is amongst the top 20 board toppers of his state board, then or central board or any, as a matter of fact, any recognized board, then we have got scholarships for such students as well. We have got certain financial aids as well. Now these financial aids are basically fee waivers that we give to the students on the basis of their social status. For example, somebody is from a humble background, from an economically humble background, such students can apply for a need-based scholarship. Similarly, somebody, somebody's parents are working with the central armed forces, police forces, paramilitary, military forces, such students being from a defense background, there is a financial aid for such students as well. Then, God forbid, somebody is an orphan student or maybe a disabled student, then such students are also in for a financial aid from our side. Mind you, in case of financial aids, it's not that we pay you something, but we deduct you, deduct some kind of a fee and some fee leverage is given to the student. So, these are the comprehensive scholarships that we are offering in uh, 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 the BTEC mechanical program and you can get to know about it for your desired program from the path that I've told you that is going to admissions and searching your programs from here and going in for the program. Uh, my dear students, you can, uh, you can have uh, a glimpse of our contact details. The contact details are as follows. If you have any admission related query, feel free to call us on these numbers. That's 
01824517000 or 01824404404. You can always write to us on admissions at lbu.co.in. So we take your queries over there in the written format and uh, you can always visit us on www.lpu.in on which platform we are currently. So I guess that's all from my side. The students can have a snapshot of this particular uh, screen and they can contact us, they can talk to our experts, they can visit us or they can write to us as deemed fit by them. I guess that's all from my side. Over to you, Ruby. Thank you so much, sir, for the detailed information about the admission class. And so we have the admission. So can we check the email, sir? Sure, why not? So, so there is a query from Himans B. Kandula. She wants to know that there is the ability to learn different languages at a Yes, there are. There are. That's a very good question, actually. There is uh, an option that uh, the student can. We have got some short term programs, some certificate programs and short term programs that we are offering to uh, our own students. And these programs are, say, for example, we have got uh, uh, maybe uh, a language proficiency certificate program in French, in Spanish, in Japanese. We have got ample lot of uh, uh, workforce to take care of that particular thing. And these classes go on after five o'clock. After five o'clock, we facilitate these classes for the students. So if the students want to want to enroll for a foreign language program, yes, the feasibility is there. And these classes, you can enroll for these classes. Yes, there are extra charges for that as well. But you can uh, enroll for these classes and the classes will go on after five o'clock, say five to seven or five to six, six thirty. That will be depending on the timetable. But yes, the feasibility is there that you can learn foreign language along with your conventional course that you have come here to do. Thank you so much, sir. So we'll take up another question that is from Sai Mitra. He wants to know that uh, he has got only 54 percent in votes, but the eligibility is 60 percent. So, you want to seek your uh, advice on this? That, uh, is there any kind of alternative to join VTech LPU? So the percentage is very low, 7 percent. Well, uh, if you have got 54 percent marks, and uh, unfortunately you cannot uh, join the, the VTech program, so we would have loved you to join that particular program but the eligibility does not allow it but don't worry about that particular thing if you are really interested in i can give you an alternative uh, this can be a good alternative for you uh, if you are dentist dentist non medical you can go in for a diploma program you can go in for a diploma program you can join the diploma program diploma in engineering you can complete your diploma program and once you complete your diploma program, you can obviously go in for a VTech later entry. Say, for example, you are dentist to non medical. Dentist to non medical, 50%, and that's sufficient for us. We'll give you admission into the diploma later entry program. That is the second year of diploma. Say, mechanical, skills, electrical, anything. And then two years you spend in, in uh, the diploma program. Once you complete the diploma program, you can go in for the BTEC program into the second year of BTEC. This is called as the BTEC later entry program. And next three years, you complete your degree. So, as uh, after after your 12, you would have taken four years to complete your BTEC. But over here, it takes five years, but then you get two degrees. One is a diploma and one is a BTEC, which gives you more weightage, which gives you an edge over a single BTEC uh, degree holder. So uh, this can be a blessing in disguise that if you're not able to score 60 percent, need not worry about that particular thing. You've got 54 percent marks. Go in for a diploma lateral entry program. Thereafter, go in for a retail lateral entry program. And in the bargain, you get two degrees. You obviously get an edge as compared to a person who would be having a simple retail program. So maybe you can take this on. Thank you so much, sir, for resolving all the queries of our attendees and attendees, which is likely said the serious determined destiny. So don't wait for the last date. Decide your own date of admission as soon as possible. So with this, we'll conclude our today's webinar. Now I would like to express my appreciation to the experts for their valuable contribution to our webinar entitled as 
campus life at LPU way to holistic development. So my deepest gratitude goes to all who attended this webinar and helped to make it uh, to make it a such a successful one. So experts, I'm sure your years of experience, your years of research will definitely help the audience to choose the right path. So I do begin finally sign off from the session. Thank you so much, everyone.